Here's my prediction what will happen from April 4th, 2023 to November, December 2024. It's around 2 o'clock in the morning. I can't sleep. I get up very early, but I wanted to get this message out to you guys. And I do these videos at the risk of looking very foolish in November, December 2024. But this is coming from my heart from discernment, from the eight to nine hours a days of research that I do, understanding how macro and microeconomics work. And the only reason I'm expressing this stuff on my social is to document my journey, my journey, and the things that I am learning about the system that I grew up in. The system that taught me one way, and I've gone the complete opposite way the last four, five years, and it's completely transformed my life. In 2017, I walked away from the banking system, a high paid vice president job because I knew something wasn't right. I didn't know what I was seeking. I had no idea what I was seeking. But today, as I said on April 4, 2023, I'm so glad I did. I realize that every time they tell you to look this way, there's always another narrative going on this way. And I've spent eight to nine hours a day researching this. I've developed everything around this. And ever since I started to realize that there is no invisible enemy, this is nothing new under the sun. This has happened over and over and over again. So before I share this with you, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This is coming from my heart to yours and a love for humanity, an unconditional love for humanity. And if my message can help one person, one person understand that everything's going to be okay, that this is a repetitive cycle in human behavior that's happened over and over and over again. And if I can allow one person to see what I've experienced, going from losing my money three times to ending up on my parents' couch, finally understanding four years ago that I was indoctrinated deep into a system that taught me a way of doing money, my health, and my mindset that had me trapped, that made me think that it wasn't possible for someone like me or someone like you to have spiritual freedom, financial freedom, and most of all, have the ability to discover who I truly, truly am. So what you're seeing is the embodiment of me, not an identity, but a truth. And I got there by working harder on myself than I do anything else. So here's what I think is gonna happen from April 4th, 2023 to November, December, 2024. April, 2023, we are in the process of a switch to a digital dollar. As you look this way during the Trump indictment, Russia and China are de-dollarizing. The BRICS countries are coming together. They're all working to de-dollarize from trading all oil in US dollars, which is the only reason why the US dollar has any validity or any value. America is in 130% debt to income ratio. If we walked into a car dealership, we couldn't even buy a car. We're upside down. 33% of our debt is held outside the United States. We have to keep raising the debt ceiling to pay for critical services. As they shut us down globally, stopping the movement of money, supply chain, and getting everybody used to using these apps, this caused a massive disruption in the job markets. Jerome Powell, the head of the Fed, said we're coming back to a new economy, leveraged towards technology, and he's worried about the middle class. Well, they're not worried about the middle class. But I'm here to tell you that going into Q3, Q4, 2023, the middle class is about to get wiped out. So here's what's going to happen. The middle class is going to start losing their jobs in Q3 and Q4 due to interest rates and jobs or companies being stressed, stressed without access to capital. This transition to technology is going to give companies an excuse to start laying people off. Companies right now are innovating into technology and the labor force is going to completely change. At the same time, we have a massive transition with three things happening. Number one, a climate change narrative. Number two, a war narrative. And number three, a socio-geopolitical narrative. 
We also are in a debt crisis. We've never experienced anything altogether in our living history like this. In our living history. This is making the Great Depression look like child's play. But here's why I don't feel like we're going to a full depression. Because this is a transition, not a depression. This is a transition into a new monetary system. The can has been kicked down the road way too far. And I promise you at the end of this, I'm going to share with you why this is the greatest opportunity in history. And you should stay calm. Don't panic. Because it's the only opportunity we're going to have in our living history for a normal everyday person to take advantage of the biggest transformation of wealth in our living history. So the job markets are start to get smashed on the back end of Q3, Q4, 2023. When the job markets start to get smashed and people lose their job, we have no money in the system. We are all a debt-based society. So every time someone can't service their debt or people aren't getting loans, that's sucking liquidity out of the banks. Because remember, we're the liquidity. Every dollar in the system is someone else's debt. So when someone is not getting debt and someone doesn't have a job and someone can't buy gas or buy groceries, then that place has to lay people off. And it starts this catastrophic effect. So as they're trying to raise interest rates to cool inflation down to 2%, companies need to lay people off. There's no debt in the system. Banks have no liquidity. There's going to be a massive banking crisis because there'll be no money in the system. They don't have your money in the banks. So with no money in the system, is it by chance that FedNow services will be up and running by June 2023, which is on-demand liquidity, real-time payments 24-7, April 24th, in the account identity at Wells Fargo, FedNow services, RTP, are qualified direct deposits. So by June, money will be moving at the speed of light 24 hours a day, and that will be to give the normal everyday American or people in America assistance, and that will train you to start to use a digital dollar. And once you're trained to use a digital dollar as we head into 2024, they'll start transitioning to bringing in a central bank digital currency. So what you're seeing is China, Russia, them creating their own currency. America will team up with other people. We'll start to create our own ecosystems. Every central bank will have a central bank digital currency, and we will have a bridge currency that moves central bank digital currencies across the platform. That's why Kamala Harris just left Africa, the second largest population, because one out of every six people will be using the Internet within the next couple of years, and they want their liquidity in to the system, calling it financial inclusion. Remember, we have a liquidity crisis, and your hard-earned money is their liquidity. They can't make money if we're not putting money in the system. So as we head into 2024, there'll be fear of recession, nuclear war, all these things happening. Everybody's going to panic. Everybody's going to want assistance. So you're easily going to download your app, and you're going to start using FedNow services because you're going to need assistance. Then as we go into the back end of the year, There'll be a presidential election coming in, so the job markets and everything will start to turn around. The markets will start going back up. We'll have the Bitcoin halving, and everything will be start to get rosy on the back end of 2024, going into 2025 when we've got a new president coming on, and then the cycle will continue. The new president will be fixing the markets, will be fixing the economy, and all they're going to be doing to transition you into a 2025 new digital way, digital currency. And there'll be a big socio-geopolitical, consciousness, financial, and spiritual switch. Okay, so if you've made it this far, you're a true warrior. Because the attention span of a human being, I think, is five seconds. So here's the beautiful part about it. Is if you can stay calm, and you can stop listening to all the bullshit on the news. And when they tell you to look this way, you look this way. This is the greatest opportunity on the back end of this year. We're going to be wrapping up the Shemitah around September. And during the Shemitah year, there's always a massive, massive pullback on assets. So number one is I would get all debt paid off. Stop focusing on this bullshit of people telling you all your debt's going to disappear. We don't know that's going to happen. And even if it does, get all your debt paid off. Number two, get rid of bills that you don't need and create cash flow. Create a budget to create cash flow. Number three, if you can reduce down to one car, if you have two cars as a family, create cash flow. Number four, if you can... Create a side hustle or start flipping things on the side. So now that we paid off debt, we've created a budget, we've created cash flow, which you can do. Don't make an excuse. I was on my parents' couch four years ago. I got my shit together. I did it. Then you read the book Intelligent Investor. You start to look at real world solve investments, intrinsic value companies. That could be crypto. It could be stocks. 
you study them methodically. Pick 20 investments, dollar cost average into those investments. Now here's the key. When we go parabolic in 2024 after the Bitcoin halving, if you're in crypto, you need to get out when everybody's getting excited. You have to have an exit plan. When you exit, you secure right away. You put money on the sideline to buy the fear when it comes collapsing down, and then you repeat the process in the next cycle. It's not that complex. Profit, secure, reinvest. Profit, secure, reinvest. So stay calm. It's going to be okay. Get your shit together. We rise together. Warriors, ah, let's get your shit together. If you're still here, you need support, join my 120-day challenge. Link in bio. Let's do this together. There's no invisible enemy. It's you against you. I'll see you inside.